So I started to make a new video here on these uh, non-sport card packs that I picked up. These are uh, repackaged non-sport cards from the late 70s mostly. And I had gone through the first pack and I had just opened up um, uh, actually a second pack. I, each one of these has 50 cards in it. And then my memory stick, I guess, filled up. So I had to erase some stuff and well, here I am again. So. What I have here are these, these 50 card repackaged non-sport cards from the Treat Trading Card Company or something like that. 50 different cards, limited editions. I like this one here, Great Value Today, Greater Value Tomorrow. Like this maybe Uhura Rookie Card. I don't know if that's got any value. Look at that pro. So, I, like I said, I had opened up some of these cards. And, and what's in these packs, I got um, a dozen of them. So that means they have 600 cards. Our variety of uh, non-sport cards, like I said, from the 70s. You got Battlestar Galactica, the Star Trek, the Motion Picture, Moonraker, James Bond, Star Wars. Um, there's the Black Hole. There's uh, uh, Close Encounters. There's even some TV issues like Three's Company, um, Saturday Night uh, Fever. So here is the first pack that I had opened. Okay, these are just some Saturday Night Fever cards here. Um, and then there's some stickers for Three's Company. I don't know what this is. This is like a puzzle piece of some sort. Here's some three com Three's Company cards, stickers. Mr. Roper. Mr. Roper. Another one of those puzzle pieces. So back then, I mean, maybe even still today, but I remember as a kid, there was cards for everything. Mork and Mindy, Happy Days, The Incredible Hulk, you know, Star Wars, Star Trek, I mean, Saturday Night Fever, um, anything. Uh, Close Encounters, any big movie had a card set. Saturday Night Fever, I don't recall ever buying these or wanting to buy these. Um, oh, and there's some Jaws 2, uh, the sequel to the original Jaws. The craft is sinking. This, I think, is a Jaws sticker. So these are, again, repackaged non-sport cards from the late 70s from Tops and Donruss. And there's coming up on some KISS cards. This is the Jaws. Here's KISS. Guys are still rocking today. Don't want to kiss in the back is a puzzle. Nineteen seventy eight. All right, so there was the first pack, and then here's the second pack that I was about to go through before the, the camera crapped out on me. So also we have some 1979 Star Trek The Motion Picture. This is a sticker for, it looks like Close Encounters. I guess I'll turn these over. Yes. Oh, I think I see some Star Wars in there? No, I don't know. Well, Close Encounters. series of Close Encounters cards here. There's the back. 
Phillips Encounters. This is uh, James Bond. Looks like Moonraker. There's some Moonraker cards in here. So the one James Bond movie with a science fiction theme came out around the time as all these other science fiction movies like Star Wars and Star Trek and The Black Hole. In fact, here's some Black Hole cards. Black Hole was a Disney movie. Um, Battlestar Galactica was another movie around this time. I haven't seen this movie in years. Help us, Bob. Star Trek motion picture. Refurbished Starship. Let's check off. I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. What the fuck is this? I guess it's from Star Trek. Yeah, it is. What the fuck is that? I don't remember this shit from that movie. I remember her. I love these cheesy titles I had to put on these cards to caption them like Spock's fight for life. I don't think Spock ever had a fight for his life in this movie. I don't know, maybe I just don't remember the movie. Where he like went out, did some investigating, got knocked around a little bit, came back. I don't recall him being on the verge of death. Dangerous trek. So black hole, black hole, moonraker. And then here's Jane Seymour in Battlestar Galactica. Got a bunch of Battlestar Galactica cards too. On the outsides of these packs, it's mostly Moonraker, Battlestar, or the Star Trek. Um, some of these are supposed to have Star Wars. Not that I care, because I have all those Star Wars cards anyway. But it would be nice to have a little more variety. Hopefully this isn't just going to be 600 cards worth of... Um, I will say these cards are in awesome shape. Usually if you want to get... If you're into PSA grading... Um, rack packs are usually the best bet for older cards to ensure that they are um, they come out of the best in the best condition. Wax packs are a gamble because they could always be resealed or have been resealed. I don't know how many packs of these I'm gonna get through. Starbuck and Boxy to the rescue. Everything's a okay. I love Battlestar Galactica. This series anyway. It only was on for one season. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The fuck is this thing? Pig Face Tourist. And then I watched it later in life on the Sci Fi channel, and I didn't realize how much stock footage they reused during the space sequences on that show. Of course, being for network TV, you know, I'm sure it was an ambitious project to say the least. Um, Alright, so this is pack number three. And again, on the outside, I got. Got Battlestar Galactica, the Black Hole, Commander Adama, and his daughter. This girl, this ch this this chick is a major piece of ass, or was anyway. This is uh, Marin Jansen. If you ever check her out, I mean, she's like 50 something now, but back then she was some prime fucking cooch. Fucking hot. Alright, so this is a Black Hole sticker. Get some more Battlestar Galactica cards. Oh, no, got a double. Creatures of Destruction. Oh, they're Cylons. They're robots. Not creatures. This is a good set. Galacticians discuss their dilemma. Again, I love the 
captions. Captions for the sake of having captions. Cool. All right, so now we're on to some black hole. I think I have that one. Get some doubles here. The Cygnus, a ghost ship. Myself a checklist. Looks like there's 88 cards in that set or this set. Courageous Bob. All right. So that was the first half of that pack. Now here's the second half. It's a Moonraker. Stickers, duo for danger. The craft's rotation stopped. Stupid. Oh, this is Jaws. Appeared in a couple of James Bond movies. Love James Bond movies. Okay, here's Close Encounters. The sticker. This is a pretty good movie. a series of Close Encounters cards. Um, so 50 cards in a pack and 12 packs makes for 600 cards and if all I'm getting are the same five movies over and over again maybe I'll pull a complete set of this shiz. Alien Menace. Really? these to go. I'm not going to open all these on camera. My battery will run out. I don't have enough memory. Um, maybe I'll open one more and um, put some aside and then open the rest in another video. Uh, so let's do it again. Again, Battlestar, Moonraker, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, Where's my Star Wars cards? Just for fun. I think the Star Wars cards that come with this pre-packaged stuff was the second series red Star Wars. Again, I got that whole set. But... Spotted by Jaws. People of Tomorrow. Interesting. A collection of perfection. Close Encounters. I think also in these, mixed in here somewhere, are um, Grease. Um, the movie Grease. As well as... Um, um, shit, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Well, here we go. Battlestar Galactica. The escape plan. Something tells me that this book has nothing to do with an escape plan. I don't remember the movie, though. Oh, there's a sticker. Cylon Centurion. So... So far, out of all these mixed repackaged uh, cards, I'm thinking I like the Battlestar Galactica ones the best. I have some of these as a kid. In fact, I might have some home still back in my parents' house. But uh, all chewed up and dog-eared and creased and whatever. So 
So here is um, here's some black hole. So you got some duplicates here. Yep, more Moonraker. All right, here's this guy again. Curious leader. The hell, yeah, that, that, that looks realistic. Limited television budgets. Right, so more close encounters. Here's a sticker for something. Now we're into the Star Trek Kirk's Last Stand. Here's the back. This is Leonard Nimoy. Warning from space. Alright, so there's Klingons on the front, and then it's Leonard Nimoy on the back. Let's get some more doubles here. I could open up another another pack. Once again, it looks like another healthy dose of Close Encounter, Star Trek, The Moon Raker, The Black Hole. I like to see some of the more obscure titles, like uh, maybe Three's Company, The Warriors of Space. All right, the black hole. Now it looks like we're getting into Moonraker, a hidden Vincent. Well, I'm getting some doubles. All right, so I'll do one last half pack here. And uh, face of terror. What the hell is this? This is Star Trek. It's like uh, like somebody punched Osama bin Laden in the face here. What the fuck is this? Space intruder. Box sticker. Oh, there's our friend again. Final Frontiersman. Battlestar Galactica. So it looks like we'll finish off with some Battlestar Galactica. Metallic Monster. This is a sticker. Battlestar Galactica. A Day of Peace or Betrayal? <laughs> no, there. That's it. Alright, so I have... I got a bunch more. Again, it's like Moonraker, Battlestar, Black Hole, Moonraker, Star Trek, um, Close Encounters. If that's all I'm going to get, I'm going to be pissed. But whatever. So that's a wrap. This is non-sport, repackaged, 70s, vintage, I guess, non-sport movie cards. Um, yeah, so I'll... Uh, 
I'll uh, continue this in uh, part two.